Hi there, this is, what would Josh do? This is Andrew Wook for the Transformer Prime. Right here, you're actually seeing the boot up screen. I know it's just a picture, but I took a picture of it booting up. It's pretty cool, I really like it. It's much better than the official stock boot animation that I saw so many times when my Transformer Prime would freaking just randomly reboot on me. I was very um, skeptical on installing this at first because you had to upgrade your bootloader to the 4.2.1 bootloader but you can downgrade to 4.1 and I permanently break my prime and restored it back to I downgraded it from Jellybean ICS so I'm very comfortable with the fact knowing that I can just use my MV flash and restore it if I break it so that's why I'm installing this so I just got it up and running here let's go through the settings real quick um, you don't really notice too much different uh, like under sound, display, storage, battery. I just flash it so the battery's not going to have a clue what's going on here. Not very much on there as you can see. I've installed Twitter, QuickPick, and a couple other small apps. So it's got plenty of space left for HDMI. Uh, it is a little different and my daughter now entered in the living room. So if you hear her, I'm sorry. Uh, 3D output. I don't know what that is. But the launcher is pretty cool. You can see by this video, my launcher is way freaking different than normal. Like when I drag this down, it's kind of like Jelly Bean 4.2. But uh, you can actually change that. And when you press on it, it's going to prompt you that you need to reboot your Transformer Prime. And when you do, you'll have your normal little thing at the bottom here for your like your time and notifications. And then you'll have your back and home and recent apps right here. So it's pretty cool. You can choose whether you want it to look like this or the other way. So... And, I mean, I don't notice too many other things that are different. Under developer options, it is a little, it's about the same. Uh, I flashed it, and of course it has one of those aroma installers. I don't like it, because you sit there and you're like, uh, should I add this, should I add that, should I add this, should I add that? And I, I'm the kind of person that kind of wants to just check everything. <laughs> but then you have conflicts and all kinds of stuff, so, I'm just, uh... Yeah, this has a custom kernel on it right now, so the clock speeds should be a little bit higher than uh, default. Um, tool. Uh, media scanner, device host name, general. Um, maximum. What can I bring it up to? Wow. I can go all the way to 1800. Let's, um, let's go on that right there. And you can just look, that's more advanced. That's that's out of my league stuff right there. So we do have Super SU, we are rooted. Does it say I have, yes, it says I pro, okay. I did choose to have the pile launcher installed, but yeah, that's about it. When you hold down the power button, I'm not sure what happens. If I choose restart, nice. That is very nice. How many times have you, went, uh, cause you only have power off options in stock Android. How many times have you turned your phone or tablet off meaning to turn it back on and then you went to do something and then like you're wondering why you didn't receive that phone call or why you were, you know, <laughs> you gotta wait for it to turn back on. I hate that they have not put the reboot options in stock Android. You've got to install CyanogenMod or some other ROM that has that enabled. So that's pretty freaking cool, but I mean, as far as I can tell, the screenshot button works, play button, music device limit reach. I've got to deauthorize some stuff from my Google Music account. Pretty much everything works. I'll launch my web browser, and it says the, the system will dim, website loads, save battery power. Okay, whatever that is. Yeah, that's that's about it. I mean... I don't know what else to show you. Oh, the recent apps is different too. Like you swipe them up and down. So I don't know if you can really change that, but it's there. So far everything works. I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna downgrade it back to 4.1 and do a video on how to properly upgrade it to 4.2.1 bootloader and recovery because the recovery looks way different. I can't show you that while HDMI capturing, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm capturing HDMI. Um, one of the cool thing is if I go here to the micro HDMI uh, It doesn't for some reason when I launch it from there. It doesn't work, but here when I go to HDMI uh, I can't change it on the old way I could I could crop it where it only showed like the top part of the screen So it, it was 1280 by 720 or whatever and it, it just showed like the top part it didn't show your notifications or anything like that 
If you watch my video first look at Crazy Taxi for Android, I was actually HDMI capturing with crop mode enabled. So all you saw was you know, the game itself. And what you're seeing right now is a tweet that I posted on Twitter and it shows the startup screen on Nova 3. So like you literally, all you see is the game like when you're HDMI capturing. It's pretty freaking awesome. But yeah. Originally, I had planned to make this a second channel video, but the more I thought about it, the more this was like a first look, like a quick overview of the Android Wook ROM for the Transformer Prime. I will follow this video up with a proper how to install video since it has an aroma installer and I want to go ahead and show all that. I won't build an HDMI capture like I did on this part, but still, I'm going to do it because I haven't done a Transformer Prime video in a while. And for my HTC One fans, trust me, HTC One videos are coming soon. I do plan on doing the bootloader thing where you can like change the text that shows up. You can make your SOF device say whatever you want it to say. It's, you know, you can just customize it and there's other ROMs and kernels and stuff I'm gonna do for it. I just, my daughter's home from school now and she doesn't start school back up until mid-August. So finding quiet time is pretty hard. She's actually never playing right now. So that's why I was able to pull out my microphone and record this. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to. As always, please rate the video, whether you liked it or didn't like it. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got many more videos coming very soon. And the more advanced tutorials like my S3, S4, Note 2, and all those other how to root videos and my HTC One bootloader unlock. Videos like that will continue after my daughter goes back to school. Until then, I'm still going to do videos. They just won't be like the really complicated videos where I have to have my tripod and everything set up in the living room because getting her to be quiet for a few minutes is like literally impossible. So again, this is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.